for joining us again as we get set for the fourth quarter. A terrific game so far. And Detroit has possession. Four-point game. He kicks it to Griffin. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. Yeah, the referee's all over that one. No doubt about it. Clearly a foul. Nothing to argue about there. The free throw drops for Griffin. And the Pistons making a change here. He hits both from the stripe. Here's Orlando now. Dishes it to Vucevic. Griffin's there. He feeds it to Gordon. Rebound, Detroit. Now Detroit moving it up. Brown's got the ball. He passes to Rose. And that's out of bounds. Detroit will retain possession. Detroit making a switch here. Right side Rose and misses it off the right side of the rim. The Magic trail by six. With the teardrop. And now the Pistons fast break. The feather touch on the finger roll. Beautiful. Broke out the finger roll, guys. That was kind of a stylish finish. The Magic shooting well. Third 45%. Kicks it to Fournier. A baseline J. And the shot is good. Fournier's got 21 in the game. On the wing run. Defended by Fournier. Griffin shot is off. And he's having all sorts of problems with his shot. I'm not sure he even has a shot right now, Steve, to be quite honest. Not a reliable one, anyway. The Pistons making a change here. About a minute and a half into the fourth quarter now. Snell defended by Gordon. Mm, tough break for the defense. He took the heat and drew the whistle. Yep, but when you get there late, that's what happens. Stolen. Well, let's forgive him for that turnover. It's the only one he's committed. Oh, how about that basketball man? Beautiful. Wow. Talk about putting something extra on it. That dunk was way over the top. Close game or not, Clark. You know, he's going to finish firm when he gets the space. Still, I mean, it's startling that he'd even try that right now. He hits Brown with the drive. Rose. Addition out to Griffin. Detroit, no good that time either. Well, remember, he made two three-pointers in the first half, but he has not been able to get anything to fall here in the second. Here's Ross. Makes it off the glass. Well, he's so good at recognizing where the openings are and getting the ball to the rim. Rose attacking. Wood passes to Brown. Goes back up. The shot's good from Wood. And the Pistons lead by four. Well, most of all, I just love the work he puts in on the offensive glass. So many of his points come on putbacks just because of sheer hustle. Another area where he excels is on one of the most fundamental plays in basketball, the pick and roll. He will lower the boom on the defender with a solid screen and then is terrific at rolling into space and getting the basket. Rose dishes to Brown. Rose kicks to Griffin. Nailed from three-point land. Griffin's got five points in the quarter. And this is someone that can really hurt you from long range. He did that to a degree in the first half, and he's doing it now. Feeds it to Vucevic. Defended by Wood. The 15-footer will not go. This is off the front eye. Pistons leading by five. Foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. And the first one drops. Yes, 
Second free throw, no good. The Magic have gone four of seven for the field since the beginning of the fourth. Ross passes to Gordon. Launches it. And again, it's Orlando with the three. Well, it took him a long time to get that three-point range. Maybe this will get him going. Let's catch up with Doris from the sideline. Yes, Kevin. Dwayne Casey was just going over the plan with his team. As this game enters winning time, and it really could go either way, he wanted the chance to check in, make sure they're all on the same page, and sticking to the game plan to close it out. Kevin? Great. Thanks for the report, Doris. That's good. Now just a one-point piston lead. Yeah, he didn't have to slow down at all, guys. Just perfectly timed past it. And out of bounds as the Magic will gain possession. And not a good idea throwing the ball down the court that far. Now a timeout called by Orlando. Kind of like what Derrick Rose has done in this game. He's in one heck of a groove with the scoring. They're going to talk it over and try to figure out how to slow him down. Here's Vucevic. Fultz is covered by Rose to take the lead. That one wide left. Well, the shot was there for him, and he had to take it. I don't care if he didn't convert. He's got to take that every time. Outside Griffin. Gets to the rim for two with the D all over him. Griffin's got seven points for the quarter. You know, his ability is matched only by his energy, guys. I mean, he's usually in the middle of everything for his team. Outside, Gordon. To the middle. Number one. Lays it in without an inch of room around him. The Pistons lead. Rose dishes to Griffin. Shoots from 12. He clangs that one off the back iron, and down it falls. Griffin's got 20. The Magic have gone 7 of 11 from the floor in the final quarter so far. Been some solid looks for them. The pass to Ross. Magic moving the ball around. Vucevic backing down. A jump hook. Some solid defense from Wood. You can see how much the defense respects him. I mean, they were all over him on that look. Outside for Griffin. The three. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Brown's got three assists in the game. He's putting on a commanding performance here. He's hit two three-pointers in each half now. Fultz. And it's going to be a goaltending call here, so they'll count the bucket. He thought he had that one clean, but the ref saw it differently. They'll count the basket. Fournier has jumped in for Terrence Ross. Here's Rose. Rebound by the Magic. Vucevic has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Picked away. Two on one as they jump out of the break. Here's Rose. Gives him the lead pass. And it's Brown missing. The Magic trail by four. Outside Gordon. And he jams it with authority. You know, the defense that time was just content to stay out of the way. I mean, no resistance at all. They let him do exactly what he wanted to right there. <laughs> Steve, no one looked too anxious to take him on. No, you know, guys, I think that speaks to his strength and his agility. I mean, there's, he's not a guy you want to stand in the way of as a defender. Elbow shot is on the way. And the basket by Rose. Rose has got 15 points here in the second half. Twenty-seven left to play here in the fourth. Fultz is covered by Rose. And again, it's Orlando with a three. There's been a change in this game compared to what we saw in the first half. I mean, he's scoring with a lot of confidence now. Gets it to go. They haven't been as aggressive from outside as they were in the first half. They're playing smart with the lead. I like that. They're being very selective and deliberate in their offense. That's a good strategy when you're on top. Looks like he's just trying to shoot his way out of this cold spell, but uh, I don't know about that shot attempt. Went 
to the windmill dump to turn this place on its ear. I love it. <laughs> yeah, this crowd is stunned. And they should be, Kevin. That was one elaborate finish. There's 47 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. No good from Fournier. I tell you what, folks. I bet he won't miss that shot next time he takes it. And that's an intentional foul. Two points here might be all the cushion they need. Now you'd think so. I mean, this game is theirs for the taking. Griffin kicks to Brown. Back to Griffin. Brown defended by Fournier. Outside Rose. Wood passes to Brown. Griffin. Fournier pulls it down. Urgent possession here, Clark. They need a basket. No doubt about it, Steve. They need 50 fishing score. We've got 13 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Yeah, you got to freeze the clock. That's the enemy in this situation. A few misses at the line, and they're in good shape. So both free throws are good, and it's a five-point game. And that ought to do it. I think any chance for a miracle comeback just went out the window with those free throws. Twelve seconds left to play in the final quarter. Number one. Leases one from three. Wow, he's got such a sweet three-point stroke. The way he can shoot, forcing opposing bigs out on the corner can really open up the lane. So the first one drops, and that makes it a three-point lead. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a four-point ball game. Now here's Gordon. Number one. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And so it's the Pistons who come out on top here. Mark, it was anybody's game right to the very end. Yeah, it was. The coach is happy with the outcome, but maybe not so much with the margin. Well, that'll do it. For Dorisburg, Steve Curry, Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Holland saying so long. We'll see you next time. And as we leave, we give you our Jordan player of the game, Jared Rose.